Hello Photoshoppers, today I'm going to show you how to make a Read Miles inspired image. So we are first going to, I'm going to go ahead and um, just collapse that gradients tab there by double clicking on it so I have more room to view my properties panel. I have my image that I'm going to use and I'll go ahead and unlock that background layer and then I'm going to duplicate it, layer, duplicate layer. I just like to do that in case I need to refer to the original. Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to turn this into a black and white image. So I'll click on the um, black and white adjustment layer right here. And I'm going to change my presets for this image. I like the infrared setting. I think it's really dramatic there. And let me go ahead and hover between the two layers and hold down my option or alt button until my cursor changes. And now if I click one time with my mouse, it only applies that adjustment layer to the layer right below it. So that's looking pretty good. I also need to do another adjustment layer to increase the contrast and decrease the brightness. So I'm just clicking on that adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and choose brightness contrast. I'm gonna do the same thing, hold down option or alt and just make sure that it's only affecting this layer here. Up here in our properties panel, I'm going to crank my, bright, my contrast way up that looks pretty good. I don't want to get too much blowout, but luckily there's a little bit of highlight on his head there. But that's going to look good once I um, change my blending mode, so I'll leave it like that. But if you're getting way too much blowout and not seeing a lot of detail, then don't pull your contrast up that far. Now we're going to make it very moody by pulling our brightness down. And I can barely see his eyes. I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crop this image. So this is looking pretty good to me. And I'll hit OK. And then let me go into my canvas size. Well, first, let's check out our image size. So my image size needs to be 6 by 9. So I'm going to change my height to 9. And for the most part, in Photoshop, you don't want to um, try to make an image larger than it is. but uh, they're getting better at being able to recreate mixing pixels. So, um, and this is still a small enough size. I'm not changing it. Uh, I was changing it from like seven to nine. I'm not changing it from seven to 30, you know? So I think that it's all right for this, for this particular project. Now let's hit canvas size and I'm going to let it crop off the, behind him here, like his arm and shoulder. So I just moved my anchor point over to the left and I'm gonna change my width to six and hit okay and hit proceed. And that fixes my composition a bit too. So that looks much better. So now here comes the magic part here. Um, we are going to add a layer down here and we need to pull it below the layer that we applied all of these adjustment layers to. And now you're going to fill the layer with whatever whatever color you'd like um, as your your main uh, main color of your image. So I'm going to actually choose more of kind of a teal color. So I have web only color selected. That just blocks out these colors and makes it a little bit easier for me to choose. But you can uncheck that if you don't like that and you want to use the full spectrum. I just like it because uh, I could spend hours choosing a color. <laughs> it just helps me get the work done a little bit faster. So I chose this blue. It's pretty electric. I'll hit OK. I'm just going to use my paint bucket tool. You can hit G for the hotkey there. And I'm just going to drop it to fill that layer. Now you don't see it because this layer right here is still a normal, fully opaque layer. So let's go ahead and change our blending mode from normal to multiply. Look at that. Darken is also a really nice effect too. I think I like Darken better, so I'll select Darken. So that gives us that really beautiful Blue Note Records style. Um, also with Blue Note, um, they don't have extra detail here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go back to my gradients. I'll make a new layer and pull it above the, um, the adjustment layers. It's still, uh, only affecting the layer below that. So I'm going to hold down the option or alt button until that cursor changes to have a slash through that arrow. And I'll click one time with my mouse and now it's its own independent layer. And then let me change my um, default colors 
here. You can hit D on your keyboard to do that. That brings up over here in the gradients panel this basics um, gradient that goes from black to z uh, zero uh, opacity. So I'm going to click on that. And that's what I wanted it to do. It did the exact right thing. So my angle is 90%, and it, it just filled in the bottom there a bit, and that looks really nice to me. So you can mess with your gradients to kind of eliminate whatever you don't want to be seen in that image. But overall, this is looking good, and I'm happy with the results. Thanks for watching.